In our last video, we discussed about the concepts of uniform accelerated motion and some kinematic equations we will use in solving these problems. Let us have this example. Starting from rest, a brick slides along the straight line down a polished roof with a constant acceleration of magnitude 4.9 meter per second square. How fast is the brick moving when it reaches the edge of the roof 0.90 seconds later? What is asked in our problem is the final velocity of the brick. We will list down the given first, so we will know the appropriate equation we can use, which you will find in the lower right of this video. Acceleration is 4.9 meter per second square, and time is 0 0.90 second. Because it starts from rest, then the initial velocity is zero. Using the given in this problem, what do you think is the working equation we shall use? Very good. Vf is equal to Vi plus At. Now, we can substitute the given values. Final velocity is equal to zero, our initial velocity, plus 4.9 meter per second square, or our acceleration, then multiplied by time, which is 90 second, or which is 0 0.90 second. Very important in solving any physics problem is to include the units in the quantities for you to see which unit cancels the other and that your final unit is attained. In this case, we will cancel the unit second, which leaves us meter per second only. We perform the operations using our calculator, and our final velocity will be 4.41 meter per second. Therefore, we can say that the brig is moving 4.41 meter per second when it reaches the edge after 0 0.90 second. Okay? If that is clear, let us have another example. A car moves at 10 meter per second and goes up a hill with a constant acceleration of negative 1.5 meter per second square. What is the displacement after 8 seconds? In this problem, we are looking for final displacement of the car. Our given quantities are initial velocity, which is 10 meter per second, an acceleration of negative 1.5 meter per second square, and time, which is equal to 8 seconds. We can easily identify from our given and unknown quantities that the working equation must be d is equal to vit plus 1 half at square. Now that we identify the equation, we will substitute the values as this. We will solve as indicated in the operations. 10 meter per second times 8 seconds is 80 meters. Notice that we cancel already the second plus 1 half multiplied by the product of negative 1.5 meter per second square times the square of 8 seconds, which is 64 seconds square. In this case, we will have negative 96 meters after we cancel the units second square. Now, 1 half times negative 96 meters is negative 48 meters, and therefore, our equation will be 80 meters minus 48 meters where the difference of which is 32 meters. Therefore, the displacement of the car roasting up a hill is 32 meters. I hope this is clear so far. Let us have the last example for this video. Cheetahs are considered as the fastest land animal. One cheetah is observed in the wild, started running from rest, and increases velocity uniformly until it reached 99 km per hour. It covered 40 meters while running. What is its acceleration and how much more time will it take to cover the said displacement? There are two quantities we are asked to find in this problem, acceleration and time. First, we will list down our given values. It says here that the cheetah started from rest, so our initial velocity is zero, then a final velocity of 99 km per hour, and displacement of 40 meters. Notice that our given final velocity is in 99 km per hour, so we need to convert this first in meter per second. If you could remember from our previous discussions about unit conversion, we will multiply 99 km per hour by 1000 meters over 1 km, which is our first ratio. We will cancel the unit kilometer and we will leave as meter. 
we still need to convert r in seconds where there is 3600 seconds in one hour so we multiply this by one hour over 3600 seconds we will cancel the unit and that leaves us meter per second when we perform these indicated operations our value will be 27.5 meter per second which is our final velocity in meter per second now that all units of our given are all in standard units, we will choose our working equations. We are asked to get the acceleration, where initial velocity, final velocity, and displacement are given. With these units, we can use the formula Vf square is equal to Vi square plus 2ad, which we may rearrange as Vi squared minus Vf squared all over 2d. Then to get time, we can use D is equal to VI plus VF over 2 multiplied by time. We rearrange this because we are looking for time as T is equal to 2D over VI plus VF. Again, in finding the proper equation to be used, check all the physical quantities given and ask and check which among the equations have all of these present. Now that we identified our equation, we can substitute now our given. Let us start with acceleration. A is equal to 27.5 meter per second squared minus 0 squared all over 2 multiplied by displacement, 40 meters. Then, we perform this operation. When we square 27.5 meter per second, our answer is 756.25 meter square second square. Do not forget to square as well the units because they are all part of the values inside our parentheses. It is easier for us to see as well if we are on the right track of solving physics problems because when we cancel the units and what is left is the intended unit for the unknown quantity, then the chances are high we are doing our computations well. Next, in the denominator, 2 multiplied by 40 meters is 80 meters. Then we divide these two numbers and we will get 9.45. Then we cancel the unit meter in the denominator and then leave meter in the numerator because meter square divided by meter is meter. And just copy the second square. So our answer will be 9.45 meter per second square. We are done with acceleration and now we will compute time. As per time, again our equation is 2d over vi plus vf. We will substitute the given as 2 multiplied by 40 meters over our initial velocity which is 0 and 27.5 meter per second, our final velocity. Let us perform the operations indicated in this equation. 2 times 40 meters is 80 meters over 27.5 meter per second. We will cancel the meters in our unit and that leaves second, which is the standard unit of our unknown quantity, time. We divide 80 by 27.5 and our answer will be 2.91 seconds. Therefore, from our computation, the acceleration of cheetah is 9.45 meter per second square, while the time it will take to cover the 40 meter displacement is 2.91 seconds. And that's it. We are done. I posted some drills in our BBL. I hope you can find time answering those because you will need these skills as we continue our P6 course. Again, to sum up what we had for uniform acceleration motion, it occurs when an object experiences an increase or decrease in velocity at the same rate throughout the motion. We can summarize this concept as first, if there is no change in velocity, then the acceleration is zero. If the acceleration and velocity are both in the positive direction, the body is moving in positive uniform acceleration. Then if velocity and acceleration are opposite with one another, we can say that the body is moving with a negative uniform acceleration. Okay? Once again, this is Gilmar De Castro, and see you in the next video.